Hello my dear friends, my name is AK Rex, and uh, this time I have been requested to do a review of the new model for uh, Saurian T-Rex. And of course um, I decided not to turn it down and take the opportunity to uh, voice some of the uh, points that I have tried to make before to the developers, but it appears that they were not perceived properly. In any case, let's get into it. Now, it is always pleasant to see that certain uh, developers are trying to follow science, at least uh, uh, this time, at least. They're not, they don't just claim that they follow it, uh, but they actually do seem to follow it uh, this time around. And uh, I'm personally very happy about it, and uh, I will not critique, of course, because uh, this design is actually a very big improvement in, in contrast to their older uh, design, specifically obviously removing all these feathers and uh, making the uh, head structures, you know, like the brows and the nasals, etc. Uh, a bit less pointy because, uh, well, they are not particularly prominent on uh, Tyrannosaurus. Uh, they, they are more prominent on, uh, you know, like Daspledosaurus, maybe on uh, Albertosaurus, Gorgosaurus, whatever. Uh, maybe even Alioramus, but I'm not too sure. However, on a T-Rex, we do not see that sort of uh, thing occurring. Now, uh, what I'm also happy to see is that they've uh, given it a nice uh, mass overall, so it looks heavily built, which is nice and very, very well done. The other thing uh, that um, I am uh, quite happy about is uh, specifically they have avoided the uh, so-called curse of the shrink wrap and uh, the skull does not have visible fenestres which uh, was not the problem in their original design either so i will definitely give pros for that now as far as the cons go that's where i'm going to start uh, a bit of a rant now first of all I just said that the shrink wrapping is not an issue generally as far as I'm concerned in this model, but why are the front limbs so skinny beats me. And also these claws are way too curvy, they're not supposed to be as curvy as that. And uh, they try to make them, it's almost like they're trying to force you to look, look, we want to make them more bird-like, so they're, it's like they're trying to kind of uh, shove it down your throat a little bit too much, given the history of how they're, uh, they're developing their models and how they approach their concept, they're kind of almost trying too hard to shove it down your throat. And uh, that's at least what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing. It may not be true, it may be true as well, but we don't know that for sure, uh, but... Um, it's just what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing. I'm, that's all I'm saying. It doesn't mean I'm right, it just means that this is how I perceived it. Now, uh, also the arms, they need to be obviously thicker, they need to be a bit more, uh, you know, bulky and uh, not so uh, thin and skinny like they are shown here. And uh, the other thing now, where where's like the major problems in my view, is that they're still keeping the whole idea with the lips and the mouth and snout design are completely off. They are not consistent with the latest scientific studies. Um, and I will say that when it has been numerously pointed out correctly by myself and many other people as well who have been uh, keeping, you know, keeping up with the progress of this project, they uh, uh, the response that it was met uh, with was very immature, very unprofessional, and uh, extremely lacking in terms of actual backing behind their counter-arguments. So uh, the, all we had was basically a bunch of people getting blocked. <laughs> That's pretty much what it was. And um, that is not a civil and a mature way to conduct uh, a conversation when uh, somebody who is your potential customer, uh, who might or might not pay 15 pounds sterling for your game, um, you know, based on how well you interact with your potential customer and client base. Well, yeah, you, you really need to learn how to do that. If you want to sell your product, you need to be in good relationship with your potential customers. Every little counts. 
at least for the business purposes. So if you're going to be detrimental, or your behavior specifically is going to be detrimental to your uh, uh, financial success of the project, that means that your project is not going to succeed as much as you would have, uh, as you could have made it to. And also, this means that you're going to practically be uh, a nuisance to the crowd. So if I were the boss of the company who has experienced something like this and seen uh, a member of the team, even if it's an important member and uh, with good skills, acting certain way, it would be my duty to sack this person because the company wants to make sure that it sells as, as much as possible. And the best way to keep their uh, face on is to fire the one who is causing the problem. But that is my opinion. In any case, to get back to the T-Rex, <laughs> uh, is uh, uh, the facial integument needs to be done properly uh, with the correct scaling all across the face, uh, with the correct texture as well. And uh, there should be no lips present at all as we sh we should not be seeing it like this they're they're designing it after monitor lizards it looks to me at least that way and uh, the re monitor lizards are not related to dinosaurs and all the studies and there are three of them already who studied three different theropods and i will list them for you ibrahim et al 2014 barker et al 2017 car et al 2017 so while they try to argue that Karatal did something wrong, but the other two have come to the same conclusion. So I'm quite curious, how are you going to uh, look at that argument now? I mean, um, uh, obviously, if you're scrutinizing uh, one study, then uh, you, surely you will have a problem with the other two that are basically coming to the same conclusions. And considering that you are not providing any science to the table, uh, maybe you should reconsider your position. Because the reason why, you're why we get criticized is not because somebody is trying to offend us, because everybody seems to like to get offended nowadays at everything. Because, you know, somebody farted in the air, you know, in the air and now, oh, I'm going to get offended to that. So I'm going to play the victim crap. Yeah, whatever. And uh, I think instead it should actually, uh, you know, get us to the position where we can seriously and uh, calmly with a mature approach reconsider our views because that's how we grow. That's the only way to go. We either de degrade or we upgrade. <laughs> so the only way we can upgrade is when we review and revise our points of view, which is what I encourage everybody who comes to this channel to do. Now, obviously, uh, the snout and the head needs to be remodeled according to the latest science. And the latest science, according to three studies, does not agree with this reconstruction. Now, overall, Actually, my overall view of this model is quite good. I am actually very happy with how they implemented it. I really am pleased. Uh, if, uh, Of course, it doesn't mean that uh, I, it's enough for me to support the game because I want to see more uh, from the gameplay itself before I decide that I want to uh, purchase 15 pounds for a product that basically barely just about offers as much as, say, the Isle already offers, if not more than that, to be perfectly honest with you. The only difference are the details, for example, that it's set in a specific environment like the Hell Creek, while the Isle is a, more like a sandbox of all these different things. So, yeah, I mean, technically, gameplay-wise, I don't see what it what this game has to offer. So therefore, when it does offer me something that I'm saying, yeah, okay, I'm definitely gonna consider, you know, purchasing it uh, for 15 pounds. And bear in mind, even the aisle I purchased not for the full price, I purchased it with a discount on Christmas. So, <laughs> but uh, um, given that I already had this experience that uh, I tried it with uh, a different game, I want to see uh, sorry and do something and bring something new to the table that will be more exciting, maybe something different, something a bit more unique and something that has a good replay value. Now, if they ever do that, I will be happy to support them. I'm uh, I'm open to it. Don't get me wrong. I'm 100% open to it. Just because uh, I don't find their, uh, you know, uh, interaction with uh, their audience uh, professional does not mean that if they were to change uh, something about the content and introduce something new, uh, that it would not draw me in. It might draw me in, but however, of course, there is a borderline to everything. And you have to understand that if you're, you know, trying to sell something, you gotta be a mature, uh, you know, about it. You gotta be professional about it. 
I uh, run business before. I have. I am going to invest into a new business soon as well, more than one perhaps. And uh, I can tell you, even from my experience, that when I was doing something wrong, it was reflecting badly on how the business was performing. But when I was doing the right things in the right way, it was reflecting positively onto how the business was doing. And uh, the data can speak for itself. And uh, the responses, the feedback also speak for themselves. In any case, I uh, genuinely wish them best of luck. I hope, I, I see they're on the right track and uh, I am happy with the model aside from the things that I have mentioned. I hope you enjoyed the video and also, if you're new to the channel, please leave a like, please uh, subscribe and uh, uh, share with your friends who like the similar type of content. Uh, thanks for watching. I've been AKRX. Take care.